G'day guys and welcome to the episode of Team Mount Fishing Adventures. Well I see quite a bit on Facebook, uh, people post on numerous sites, where can I catch a bull shark in the Logan River? And I also get a lot of messages on Facebook, what part of the Logan River can I catch a bull shark in? Well there's no secret spots, but in this episode we're going to travel around and show you all the spots I have fished and successfully caught sharks, but remember at the end of the day it is fishing and nothing is guaranteed. This particular park we're at today is Logan River Parklands. Uh, tides, well there's no successful tide. We've actually caught sharks on both the in and the outgoing tide here. It's just a matter of persistence and at the end of the day it's fishing, nothing is guaranteed. If you actually take a walk up and down the park there's numerous little fishing platforms which people have cleared over the years. Yes, it is steep, so please watch your, your footing when you're going down to land the shark. All right, we'll uh, head off to the next spot. So we're down here at our next spot, the Waterford boat ramp. Just up there we got Fitzies, as well as a nice little park that you and your family can muck around, have a play, as well as a nice little beach area. You can chill out, relax, bring the chairs. The best tide we found for fishing here is actually the incoming, which is a bit different to most of our other spots. But when you're coming down here, definitely have a look at the tides and uh, work from there. Next spot is Alberton Rockwall on Rody Park Road. When you're fishing here, be prepared to lose some rigs. It is very rocky, very snaggy underneath this water. It's a great little location to shark fish. It's pretty easy to get your shark up. Just grab it by the trace, pull it up. You can net him, whatever. Or you can actually, at low tide, you can walk around and come walk along this whole bottom of the wall. So the best tide that I've found going, fishing here is the outgoing. And for baits, I find freshwater eel, mullet and catfish are the best. So keep that in mind when you're fishing at the rock wall. Just arrived down to uh, Alberton Road boat ramp. Now we've got a couple of uh, fishing platforms here. Bear in mind it is a boat ramp so you do have to give way to uh, uh, vessels as they come in, especially fishing here, it's the outgoing tide, of course your, your line's going to go across the boat ramp. Quite a good little spot to fish on the run out tide and uh, best, best produced on eel. So um, I have seen quite a few people fishing beyond that fence. I'm not sure whether you're actually allowed to fish over there or not. I'm under the assumption it is private property. So if you do decide to fish over there, please be careful. I'd definitely not given anyone permission to go fishing over there. Unfortunately, in this location, um, they don't like you camping down here. There are no camping signs, uh, no fires. I see there's a few spots with fires around. Guys, if we, we continue to uh, light fires and leave rubbish around, council will start taking all these beautiful spots away from us. So just remember, keep the place tidy. We'll head off to the next spot, which is Beats Road. Well, we've come to the final location on the southern side of the river. Uh, this is Beats Road. So as you can see, uh, compared to the other spots, it's not a lot closer to the, uh, the water. Be in mind if you do bring your kids down here, wear shoes. Um, there is a lot of broken glass around here, which you know, won't be too, too good for a kid's, shoe, uh, kid's feet, let alone yourselves. So uh, this is a great location to catch your uh, small sharks up to the meter mark. In another episode, we're actually gonna show you how to catch big sharks here. So stay tuned to that one. So uh, what we're actually gonna do, we're actually gonna head over to the northern side of the river now and focus on a few points over there. So we've just shown you a few of the land-based spots on the southern side of the Logan River. Now we're at another one of my favorite spots, which is Tansy Park off Tansy Road. Great little spot. It's a little bit overgrown at the moment but there's no snags other than the bottom of the jetty, the bottom of the boat ramp, I should say. Great spot, caught many sharks here. Favorite bait though, would have to be freshwater eel and the outgoing tide. All right guys, we just arrived at our second last location and it's actually under the main highway on the northern side of the Logan River. Now, um, we have caught sharks here. It's quite a good spot. Uh, yes, you do have to contend with the pylons, but it's a really good spot for both the tides. Use a bit more weight so it holds more in the, the center of the river here and you'll be pretty spot on. 
best bait we've found here is actually pike eel. Now uh, you can catch pike eels on this location, use a, uh, a bit of pilly or, or something just on a small wire trace. Really pretty much the same rig as what you use for the bull sharks. Chuck the pilly out and before long you'll have a pike eel. Cut a nice little fillet off the pike eel, on the hook, out and uh, Bob's your uncle. Okay, we're just gonna go to our very last spot, which is right our road, and show you a few techniques that we use there. All right, we just arrived down at our last location at uh, Hunts Roads. Um, quite a good location, this one. You have your picture of uh, picking up your, your bigger sharks, that's for sure. So I'll, I'll run over a bit of the, uh, the gear we'll, we, we, you can use at any one of these locations. So uh, any size, Rod and reel will do. This one is a two and a half thousand size reel, spilled with eight pound braid. Running down to a uh, sinker to suit the current, and down this one in particular, 60 pound 12 o, which is equivalent to your your 6 o. Um, team Mad Mullet rig. So bait, either <laughs> either a piece of uh, eel or mullet. We can now, eat eel. You can eat eel, can you? You want to eat it? No. No? It's yucky, hey? Yeah. So, um, about, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than Where's a... that one? It's mullet. And it's eel. A little bit bigger than a matchbox. And just like all, my, all the rest of my videos... Just hook it through the top so that hook is nice and free swinging. Alrighty guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, segment of Team Mad Mullet Fishing Adventures. And uh, don't forget to uh, like and uh, subscribe. Until next time. Cheers and good luck. Cheers and good luck.